Blending modes can be very useful and fun to experiment with. There are many different blending modes in Graphic, and these can be applied to objects on your page as well as the layers themselves. This is just a sample of what you can achieve using a few different blending modes. Here I've just pasted in a photograph, and I want to try out some of these different blending modes. So I've got a just a red circle here created with the ellipse tool. And right now it's on normal blend mode. You can find the blend mode for an object you have selected under the appearance panel. Each object can have its own blending mode. A blending mode is the way that an object or layer interacts with other objects or layers underneath it. Right now this red circle is just on normal at 100% opacity. And it just looks like a big red circle. Let's try a different blending mode to see what will happen. We've got darken. Already something is different here. Now I have a red circle, but I can also see some of the photograph underneath. Multiply, which is very similar. Color burn. It also darkens it, and when it starts interacting with other colors, it darkens it in a little bit different way. Linear burn, another kind of darkening. So you see how these are logically laid out. We have darken, multiply, color burn, and linear burn. All of these types of blending modes will do something a little bit differently, but they all darken what's underneath. Then we have light and screen, color dodge, and linear dodge. This will do the exact opposite. Now you see it's lightening everything. Screen. Screen will only show what's lighter than something that's underneath it. And you see color dodge and linear dodge all lighten it in a little bit different way. And when we start using these with other colors, you see how they start responding differently. So I've just introduced a blue circle now on normal blending mode. And I can start playing around with this one as well. Overlay is a really fun one to use, and it just has a great effect overall. I can also apply a blending mode to an entire layer. So it's not going to look pretty, but you'll be able to get the idea. This top layer that we've been experimenting on can use a different blending mode. So let's use multiply. Both of these layers begin interacting with each other, and every object in these layers is also interacting differently with other objects. Overlay. screen, difference, linear dodge, and you can experiment with all of these different blending modes to achieve many different results. So give blending modes a try in Autodesk Graphic. Thanks for watching.